Hi guys, welcome to Breathe Cricket. This is Sai Prashant and Ayyappan presenting you everything about the Water Gavaskar Trophy. The first match concluded just few hours ago and we all know that India won the game. Oh, Cheers guys, we won it and we'll take you through everything what happened there. So, actually Ayyappan, we, we actually won the game and it's a, really a great victory. So, there were a lot of positives for India but there are a lot of negatives for Australia as well. So, we'll first go into what happened with Australia. What went wrong with Australia? What's their problem? Why did they come to tour India? They came to go on any tourism or as such. I don't know what's, what's wrong with them. Yeah. So, coming to your point. The only thing which went right for Australia is the DOS. <laughs> except, except for the DOS, nothing went right for them. And uh, one brilliant star in that dull part is the Todd Murphy's debut. So he was excellent with the ball. He got uh, seven wickets in his debut match itself, and it was good lines and good lengths also. So the only thing which can be seen as a positive taking to next test is Todd Moore's performance and uh, multiple changes. Like a lot of questions based on Travis' inclusion in the team. So and also Green getting injured, and as we know, the uh, experienced paces of Mitchell Stark, he's getting uh, injured, and probably no. they'll be getting back only after the second or third test. Actually, just wanted to add on to that. Why Matt Renshaw in place of Green? See, why Matt Renshaw in place of Travis Head? I don't see any logic in that move because Renshaw is also a lefty, Head is also a lefty, and Head can bowl better than Renshaw. I really don't know what's happening in the selection team. Please guide me. So, like the last time when Aussie stood the India, like Matt Renshaw was the opener who opened alongside David Warner. So he had a good uh, stats against uh, Ravi Ash and also Jaddu. So that was seen as a primary reason for the inclusion of Renshaw in place of Travis Head. And there are also some news saying that uh, Travis is not completely fit for the first game, so he may join for the next game at Delhi. I do hope so. And okay, let's move on to India. Uh, in India, actually, there are a lot of positives, and we clearly won the game. We all know that. But uh, what do you feel about KL Rahul, bro? I'm actually a die-hard <laughs> fan of KL Rahul, guys. You see, that guy has got talent and stuff, and he will prove. But uh, see, he's going through a bad patch. We all know that. But what do you feel is wrong with KL Rahul? And should Gil be given a chance over Rahul? What do you feel? That's the talk of the town right now. So, what do you feel about it? Definitely. After the fantastic start which Shubman Gill had in this year, that is 2023, we were all expecting, even myself, I was really hoping for Gill to open alongside Rohit Sharma. But after seeing the uh, team news, I, I was really shocked to uh, see uh, KL Rahul in place of Gill. Because Gill is a player who has been in tremendous form all throughout the year in the past one month and one and a half month. So, like, there were no particular reason for KL Rahul except for the vice captain's lord to open him. So, that was really a big mistake from uh, from being an Indian point of view. But still, keeping in mind that KL Rahul has been playing for a lot of uh, months and he has been out of the cricket for the past couple of months also. Coming to the uh, test team directly, he was not in a good uh, intent to bat. See, he was confused to whether he has to defend the ball or to attack it. He was caught in two minds in the delivery he got out. So, KL Rahul is not in a really good song has to continue to open and it is also a format where he cannot switch his role. He cannot be a middle order batter suddenly after being opening for more than one year. So, moving on from KL Rahul. Uh, see, uh, apart from KL Rahul, there are other concerns for India as well. Because when you see our middle order isn't that good bro. And that fact has to be admitted because the fact is if you get dismissed to a good delivery, it's fine. But the way Kohli and Pujara got out, that was totally in a non-inconvincible manner. So, what do you think of the middle order concerts? This has been a, a long time issue because the last time uh, when Kohli and Pujara were really great with the bat was in 2019. <clears throat> so, after 2019, they were not actually not even close to the average uh, batting line. So, that is the main thing. Like Pujara is averaging around 28, 29, Virat Kohli being much down. He is nearly averaging only 25 in the past couple of years. And uh, after the England tour, where we played that one off test uh, which got cancelled. And the moreover, Kohli is not finding his rhythm in the test, test format. That's what I'm thinking right now. Because he is not getting out to some great deliveries. Like those balls are like meant for being dispatched for boundaries but he is somehow finding a way to get out in that that is what hurting the fans much because when you see the longer form right there is no uh, like a room for an error when you see from batsman's point of view like even if you are a bowler you can be hit for a couple of boundaries or even a maximum over longer and longer but still you come back and take the wicket but that is not a thing 
when it comes to a batsman point of view see that if you get a one ball which gets your uh, wicket on that then that's at the end that's all you won't be able to come back again only the next you can come back so that is the thing that is happening with the pujara and kohli and also after you are taking the raghane uh, out of the team you are finding shreyas at the field there he's getting injured someone has to come in now uh, sky is there but he's not so good for the test format so india has to find some way to get fix the middle order issues as soon as possible to get that song back still uh, everything is fine but i won't agree that uh, sky is not compatible with the test format like see guys he just made his debut he's been great in the limited overs so let's give him a run like if kl rahul deserves to get a run why not sky he'll try him in the future so let's move from the batting department to the bowling department our spinners have been phenomenal no words to describe their talent and skills which they exhibited actually uh, if you see aksar patel was little underutilized and uh, see uh, what jadeja and ashwin made in this match is really even sachin tendulkar the god of cricket in his 2 hours in his 3 hours actually triple hours he mentioned jadeja and ashwin the ravindra ravichandra so uh, i have been take us through what did before coming on to us i'm going to talk about jadeja because jadeja is a, like one kind of player who always wants to play cricket in all three formats but after being injured which kept him out of the t20 world cup and coming back to the bgt uh, series now like he was he was a player who has been always being looked at on as a match winner for india in all three formats not only test format in all three formats so he trained in uh, nca for more than uh, 12 hours per day and he got his fitness back on routine and in the ranji trophy recently concluded game he got some seven or eight wickets in a single innings so which made him feel like okay i can come back to the test format i can perform like how i was performing long back and he got his rhythm back he got a 15 in the innings uh, in the first innings he got five for in the first innings that was a really great comeback and he was also just as man of the match in this game in the first case account sorry nagpur so all these things fine tuning jadeja back to where he belongs and also the swatch celebration okay and coming back to ashana ashana uh, ashana is not like a one player uh, who you always feel like he won't be performing so if it comes to home test ravi ash is like a one sort of an asset for india where he can take the game along see in the second innings where he bowled uh, in a spell of some 10 overs i guess he picked all the five wickets in the top six of australia's batting so that is one kind of a uh, thing which ashwin brings to the team and moreover as you see there were a lot of talks about the pitch but being uh, so frank there was not really much turn on the pitch all the wickets which got the australian batters out were already straight balls so that is what really must be worrying the australian batsmen right now so ashana was great and so as uh, jadeja so on a cumulative thing they got some 15 wickets between them so that was an awesome thing and as we say you call the home test you call the home boys you call ash and jadu yeah i'd like to add a few more points to what he said actually australia were uh, really shit scared about ashwin because what they did was they hired someone called mahesh pitya who's a, <laughs> a replica of ash they said as he can imitate ashwin to a great extent so but what to do only one super one that's ashna for you who got eight wickets and a five for in the second innings that shows the greatness of ashna no one can replicate the legends there is only one legend and also uh, speaking a bit more about the pitches uh, as he said that most balls didn't turn and most of the aussies got out to straight balls i do agree because the average deception of nathan line and uh, todd murphy put together is much more higher their deviation is much more higher than as compared to indian spinners but the consistent lines and the lengths which have been bowled by our spinners that's what fetched us the results so we'll move from india to australia a bit and uh, what 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 australia has to do to turn around this because you know india in the last bgt which was held in australia we turned around and created history so what australia has to do from now to create something to see revenge at least or at least to go back to australia in a respectable manner what they have to do first the lineup has to be changed because like keeping your best batter who has been in tremendous form for the last 18 months travis head is kept out of the team just because of the one fact that math rensha has a good average and a good strike rate against the indian spinners that has the concept of being playing your already trusted batter has to come out because the man who is in current form is travis head you have to play him not the other one who has kept a good average against the indian spinners and next one is like we hope that to get a spice in the series mitchell stark has come back because only a star can bring the spark with a new ball because as we find cummins didn't have a great spell in the first innings when uh, rohit sharma and kl opened the batting for india like his lines and lengths were not that good which made uh, hitman to take out uh, some few lusty blows on him so but 
apart from that it like the defense has to be strong first of all australia were not good that good with the defense that what made them uh, leave all the straight balls and they started playing for the turn and obviously the indian spinners were not turning the ball they were just gripping the ball and bowling stem to stem line which made them fail for all the leg before wickets and when you look at the second innings once more you start to get a feel that australian players were already playing for the spin as you know that the ball didn't turn much so that was a big mistake so they had to trust their defense and start defending well first of all and after defending they can start thinking of just getting a lead of india and not seeking revenge for them yeah agree but you can't do much when a guy like jareja is breaking through <laughs> defense of a guy like steve smith bro number 1 ranked batsman i i is i side 2 is now right now is at number 2 i guess labushan is at 1 but if you are breaking through a defense of a guy like steve smith i don't find anything wrong with it defense the man. only batter who was comfortable all through the game was steve smith yeah so in the second innings also he was not dismissed he remained unbeaten in 25 or 26 i like that so like steve smith is like <coughs> it is almost like 1 versus 11 the smith yep. is the only guy who is averaging more than 15 in the aussie lineup when the test were played in india against india so other than smith there was not any notable contribution or like something Labushin. significant Labushin played, but that was his first match here uh, in India. So he played a good knock of 49 in the first innings and uh, 17, except of couple of boundaries decently over cover drives and lofted drives in there. But still, there is some void which is like uh, uh, disturbing the Australian batting lineup. And I think Travis Head is the man. They just have to call call him back and ask him to play the way he plays. So guys, uh, uh, watch your call, Ayyappan. Watch your call for the series and. Uh... What will be the finishing line for the series? Um, when you say genuinely, it must be four zero. But <laughs> but just keeping in mind the Australia, the favourites to uh, to win at least a single game because the fight which Australian uh, cricket team has is completely different because they have the ability to bounce back from difficult situations. So keeping that in mind, I expect the series to end at least three zero or three one in favour of India. But I just hope for at least one Australian win so that. At least they can take something home while returning home. Yeah, you can hear the flight noise. It's not the Aussies returning <laughs> home. I pardon you for this. And uh, yeah, if you ask me, uh, what will be the finishing line of the series? I'll say that probably, probably two one or three nil because uh, at least I'll give Australia one draw, bare minimum or a victory. So let's hope like Aussies will really come back because we can't. Say anything from the first test match because this just got concluded. So let's hope for the best. And if India wins four nil, there is nothing more for <laughs> for us Indians to celebrate that. All the Australian greats, greats who gave some really extreme comments on the pitch will be getting silenced after getting four zero. But I don't want to get ended up like four zero because like Australia is a decent side who can turn things around. So at least a three one or three zero. would end up things in a, at least a decent way for the kangaroos yeah that's it from us guys so please do like share and subscribe to our channel and if you want more videos in english please do mention it in the comments section and if you don't want videos in <laughs> english please do mention that in comments too so that we'll make more videos in tamil or english this is just an experimental move so in case that's to english, engage more audience if our english is little bad or what If our English is bad or average, so we can also improve in the video. We can also improve in the future videos. So thank you guys. That's it for the video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Cheers. Sai Prashant and I have been signing off. Bye.